Hallelujah. Before and after this time, glory to God. Let's go to Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Glory to God. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. We're going to start with the King James Virgin and thereafter the message. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19, as we share before and after these times. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19, reading thus. Verse 18. <clears throat> Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. We're going to go to the message version. But as we go to, let's flow to the message version. Verses 18 to 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 to 19. The message version, reading thus. Verse 18, message. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Verse 19. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I am making a road through the desert. Rivers in the bar in the badlands. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Turn to somebody and say, it's a new season. So we're going into a new season. Say, so I had a past. I now have a present. But I'm going into my future. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. <clears throat> oh, glory to God. I was in preparation for a delivery. Oh, glory to God. And as the dawn was about to, to, to immerse, oh, Father, as the rooster was about to crow, oh, glory to God, the Holy Spirit brought me down this line of adjustment. It therefore means that there's someone in this place, oh, glory to God, who will not finish today, oh, Father, without this message. There's somebody throughout the nations of the earth need this message to be reminded that God is with them. Hallelujah. I honestly believe that all of us need this message. Whatever the season has been, glory to God. The same God who has brought you this far. Hallelujah. He's more than able to bring you beyond. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Oh, let me get this into the mix. The enemy doesn't disturb anyone who is not a threat. <laughs> oh, the enemy doesn't fight your vision or your goals and aspirations if you're not a threat. <laughs> oh, oh. The enemy doesn't fight your living in earth realm unless, unless he knows that by you living in earth realm, the earth realm is a better place. <laughs> you know, those who are atheists will say there's no God. <laughs> but for all their lives, they keep fighting against the God who said there's no God. Hallelujah. They say God doesn't exist, but for the whole of their life, they use all the resources, past laws to do everything to fight against a God who they say don't exist. <laughs> I got news for you. Even if the enemy said you don't exist, hallelujah, let them know that you're still seated. <laughs> After all you have been through, glory to God, you still have a praise, hallelujah. You still have a worship. <laughs> you still have a testimony. Or whatever you have been through, you hear me well. Glory to God. As we try to start this flight and land it, glory to God. Hallelujah. You hear me well. Hallelujah. The biggest mistake the enemy can do, hallelujah, is that whatever it brings you through, the mere fact that you're still living, oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. The mere fact that you're still living, that alone means that you are victorious. Hallelujah. The mere fact that you still have breath in the body. Oh, glory to God. That means that you're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Because something happens to a born again believer. When he or she is resurrected. Glory to God. I sense in my spirit that this message is going to resurrect your future. Going to resurrect your goals. Going to resurrect your vision. Going to resurrect your spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever the season, this too will pass. Hallelujah. This too will pass. Glory to God. You know, let me get this into the mix. God, I don't know if we're going to learn it. Glory to God. But let me just get this into the mix. Sometimes you're going through some stuff. 
Hallelujah. Which all of us want somebody else to help us. Oh, glory to God. Including the speaker. <laughs> Some things reach us in the earth realm. Oh, glory to God. That our prayers are, God send help. Send help, send help, send help. Glory to God. And some of you have been saying, God, send help. Glory to God. Some of you have been sowing and you say, God, still send help. Some of you have been going to church over and over and you say, God, I still need help. Glory to God. And it seems as if the God you are calling on, oh, Father, is on vacation. And he doesn't hear you, oh, Father. But I'm learning as we go through the scripture that God, hallelujah, wants the best for us, oh, Father. Oh, Father, he's more than able to send help. Glory to God. Hear this now. He's more than able to send help. Oh God, I'm talking to myself. He's more than able to send help because he's a super abundant God. He's a miracle working God. He's a problem solving God. Oh. But guess what now? Oh, God take no joy in dealing with infants. God take no joy in dealing with kindergartens. God take joy in persons who are maturing in the things and purposes of God. And so, sometimes, he really wants to send help. But he knows if he send help, we're going to be like the lava, like the caterpillar, rakasata, who's supposed to evolve into a butterfly. But if anyone first make the mistake to try help you as a lava, as a butterfly, as, 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 a, as, um, as a caterpillar, to evolve into a butterfly, we're going to rob you of the metamorphic process. We're going to rob you of the cocoon stage. We're going to rob you of the process. We're going to rob you of your testimony. We're going to rob you of your faith. Rakasata. And nature will tell you that if we help that um, butterfly lava to evolve into a butterfly, the output will mean that the butterfly will be anemic. Oh, Father, we, in fact, most times, the, butterf the, um, the, the lava dies, the caterpillar dies when you man intervene. I come with a word to say to you, hallelujah, before and after these things, I still want to let you know that don't you get discouraged. Don't you get down cast. Because even though in the lava stage, and it seems as if you're the only one in the valley of challenges, and you're only one in the valley of circumstances, and you're in the valley of, oh no, I got news for you. There comes a season that after a while in your cocoon, after a while in the metamorphic process, oh, might not happen overnight, but if you faint not, you shall transform from a lava, from a caterpillar into a butter and a fly. Sometimes it's only one wing that come out. Just work with it. After a while, a toe will come out. Just work with it. Build your faith. After a while, pretty colors will come out. A sense in my spirit that you're going to dream again. After this message, you're going to dream again. You're going to go in the back of the line. And you're going to report for duty. Oh, kata. You're going to say, here comes Quaddy, Rakasata. I'm a foot soldier and listen for the army again. The enemy would have robbed you of your worship. He would have robbed you of your confidence. He should have killed you before this message because I come as a bulldozer to lift you up so you can fly. I believe you can fly. I believe you can touch the sky. I believe you can fly. Could somebody lift up the wings? Fly. You fly. Hey, hey, hey. You better work with me. Because in the spirit realm, angels on assignment to act to our desires. I resurrect every dream. I resurrect every vision. I resurrect every prophetic words that have come over your life. Prophecy on your head. You cannot die. You can't die. Rakashata. 
Rose, after we finish today, Rakashata, we turn away every nipple back up. Rakashata. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I said, the missing element, the enemy should have cut you off before a person. Professor Andrew J. Scott, give this young man the mic. The devil should have cut you off. The devil should have cut you off. But if you throw the nations of the earth, even if you're on the bed of sickness, I come to resurrect you from the bed of sickness. I come to lift you up from the bed of malady. Rakashata, YouTube, Mandorobo Sata, Mandorobo Kosata, YouTube, we release that job in the mighty name of Jesus. We take you off a food stamp, we take you off a welfare, and we release that job. YouTube, they shall not throw you out of that house, they shall not throw you out of that department. They should have done it yesterday, they should have done it at midnight they should have done it at four o'clock before i got this download rock tell them that a voice coming from apostle j scott greater works international fellowship is going through the media and going to the nations of the earth to say you shall not be put to shame you shall not be put to shame YouTube, you shall not be put to shame. Your children will not be put to shame. That car loan shall be paid off suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. So a decree a suddenly, rakashata, a suddenly to your home, a suddenly to your fridge, a suddenly to your cupboard, a suddenly to your school fees. I decree as suddenly, as suddenly to your marriage, I decree as suddenly, as suddenly to your body, as suddenly to your spirit, as suddenly to your soul. Oh, look what the Lord has done. I decree as suddenly, I decree a midnight cry. Paul and Silas, they were worshiping like how you're worshiping. Rabakasata. Mando robo shata, mando robo kosata, rababakasata. They waited until midnight. They had patience to wait until midnight. But right now, we're not going to wait on no midnight. Midnight is too far. The rapture might come before that. So as of today, as of this hour, as of this season, Rabakashaka, there shall be a shaking, there shall be a shuffling, there shall be movements, there shall be adjustment. Who is getting happy? Who is getting happy? Who is getting Who is getting happy? 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 Dry your tears. Dry your tears. Dry your tears. Wipe your eyes. The next time you cry, it shall be tears of victory. It shall be tears of joy. You shall say, look what your vagina has done. You say, she shall look at what Jehovah Elian has done. He's the mighty warrior. Rabakashata. Mondo Robo Shaka. He's undefeated. He's the undefeated heavyweight champion. He's in your corner. I said, there's a past, but there shall be a future. Rabakasata. And even if you don't want to move, 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 even if you don't want to volunteer to move, rakashaka, we're not asking you. We're not asking you. Rakashaka, we're not asking you. We are telling you, rakashaka, that the days are below the bar. Rakashaka, 
have been expired. Hey, 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 say to somebody, hey, hey, hey. oh, glory to God, glory to God, I've been where you have been, I've been in season, when I'm at the bottom of the bottom, I've been in season, like the bottom of the barrel have been cut out and I jumped through it. I know what it means to be buried six foot six below. I know what it means to be buried three feet, three feet. Rakashaka. But the biggest mistake is that the enemy and his emissaries buried me alive. <laughs> Robo shaka. They never check my heart rate. Raka shaka. They never check my pulse. Raka shaka. They made the biggest mistake. They should have waited until I opened my mouth and say, and say, and say, it is finished. It is finished. I never say it was finished. I was whispering. What did I whisper? It cannot get worse than this. Hey, what a revelation. What a revelation. Oh, glory to God. It cannot get worse than this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. If I'm up here, there's a possibility that I'll fall down here. Oh, God, I'm talking to some person. Raka shaka. Oh, glory to God. If I'm here, there's a possibility that circumstances and enemy's scheme and devices will get me down here. Oh, Jesus. Raka shaka. Raka. You better work with me. You better work with me. You better work with me. Raka shaka. You better work with me. Rabba. The enemy has a, has a plan to give us what he call a final blow. Oh, glory. I've been there. I've gotten the blows after blows, which bring me, oh, glory to God. Let me, let me, let me cross my leg at the anchor so I won't be exposed. Raka shaka. Raka sata. Rabba kosata. Hey, 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 hey. Say, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, victory, victory, victory. Oh, Jesus. Raka shaka. The devil is still making the same mistake as he made with Jesus. Not because Jesus was crucified and taken off the cross and buried. I mean, that's the last of him. Oh, glory to God. The same spirit. That raised Christ from the dead. Uh, that quick now a mortal body. Hey! It's the same Holy Ghost Spirit. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I just got a revelation. It's the same Holy Ghost Spirit. That is in us. Even when we're at the bottom of the bottom. I just got a revelation. I just got a revelation. I just got a revelation. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I just got a revelation. Oh, Father. I want a meal who feeds them dead, dead, dead. Yeah. Don't, I'm not waiting on you know. Your circumstances make you feel as if you're dead, dead, dead. I'm going to count to five. You better find me up here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> I still preaching. <laughs> Chief, you're you're strong. You're you're really strong, big man. Whatever him do, let's work with him. Come here, big man. Hallelujah. 
Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. So let me give you a revelation. Because I just got a revelation. I said the enemy is making the same mistake as he made with Jesus. Because Jesus was crucified and buried, the enemy thought it was the end. But the enemy never realized that greater is he. Rakashata. Let me use the Bible to tell you that when a born again believer has been thrown on the ground at the lowest of the lowest, at the bottom of the bottom, at the barrel of the barrel, and they say ashes to ashes and dust to dust, and even when natural death come, like Elisha, revelation, Elisha died, buried for how much years. And a dead man, Rabaka Shata, a dead man, couple years after, a dead man was thrown in the same grave, and the body touched the bones of Elisha. Yo, big man, bring him come, Raka Shata, Raka Shata, find a way for him to touch my body right now, right now. Yo, bring the man, come the man. Bring the man, come. Young big man, big man, big man, big man, big man. Touch me, touch, come on, come on. Touch me, youth. Come on, come, touch me, man, touch me, man. Me no mama, man, man, touch me, man. Rabababakasata. Rabakasata. Robokosata. I decree life. I decree life. I decree life to your life. I change your story. I change your future. I change your documents. Rabba. I change your police record. I change your police record. I resurrect every situation in your life. I resurrect you to dream again. To have a vision again. To live again, Rabba, you shall not die in this season, but you shall live. Give God praise. dead yet shall you live though you were buried yet shall you smile yet shall you raise up hope from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph 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 Rabababab. He got the victory. He got the victory. He got the victory. Hallelujah. He got the victory. Hallelujah. Rakashata. He has the victory. Hallelujah. He has the victory. Hallelujah! Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. Rabba Baba. Rabba Baba. He has the victory. He has the victory. I say he has the victory. He has the victory. Rub up the victory. Hallelujah. We have the victory.
Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus is your Lord. That Jesus is your Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus is your Lord. That Jesus is your Lord. We are the victory. We are the victory. Hallelujah. We are the victory. Hallelujah. Rabaka shata, Roboko shata, Roboko shata, Mando Rebecca sata, Mando Roboko sata. Lift your hands, Rabaka sata. Glory to God. As I lay down on the floor, other persons were curious, but you were not curious. You can relate to the fact that you need a resurrection. You can relate to the fact that you need things to change. You can relate to the fact that you need a story to change. Well, as of today, Okotarakasa, watch the next 12 months, Mondo Robosha. You shall know that God did not visit your whole soul, but God has camped out at your whole soul. Oh, healing coming to your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, that 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 house matter, we bring settlement on it. That crisis with the land, we bring a settlement on it. That motor vehicle issue, we bring a settlement on it. We resurrect your spirit, we resurrect your hope. You shall rejoice in 12 months' time. Watch by next year, February. Oh, you shall see the hand of God. Oh, watch the traveling arrangement that we done on your behalf. Favor is coming to you. Blessing is coming to you. He has the victory. We have the victory. Hallelujah. 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 We have the victory. We have the victory. Hallelujah. We have the victory. We have the Give him glory, give him praise, give him worship. Oh, glory to God! Glory to God! Rest your feet, rest your feet. Let's chip into the Kelly factor. Rest your feet, Rokosata. The brave will never fall, or they may fall, but champs will rise again. Let's chip into the Kelly factor. Rakashaka. Raka. I said the mistake the devil make. He should have stopped me with a sleeping police before I end up in this place. Raka. The mistake the devil make is to allow me to wake up early in the morning. Oh Jesus have mercy. Raka. Because I come. I come, I come, I come, I come to lift you up to say you may be at the bottom of the bottom. But there is a pass. <laughs> that means that there is a uncommon future. Say receive. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> I think we start with a scripture. <laughs> Isaiah 43, verses 18 to 19. Oh, glory to God. God was sweetie. One spirit. One logos word. Oh, glory to God. My father, the C.E. Bergen says, do not ponder your ancient history. 
Oh, glory to God. Some of you like me. Keep looking in the rear mirror. <laughs> Pondering ancient history. <laughs> Listen, I've learned. Hallelujah. That it's no joy to be looking in the rear mirror of life. Because all of those things are now behind. <laughs> we could gloat over what God did and accomplish after pass. We can use those as testimonies and ammunition for faith. But it's a sad day when we camp at the mountain. Not one day. Not two days. Not three weeks. Not three months. Not even three years. But sometimes some of you like me. Camping for the rest of the life. Oh Jesus. But here in the spirit realm. Oh God. God says. <laughs> we have dwell. At the foot of the mountain. We have camped here. For too long. For too long. For too long. Rakasata. Glory to God. You hear me well. One of the hardest things is to go into a future. One of the hardest things is to move into a vision. Glory to God. But hear me well. Vision is what propels us. Vision is what encapsulates us. Vision is what attracts potential operational fit. And vision is what attract resources. Glory to God. The devil will always give the impression that the vision cannot manifest. That the dreams and goals will never manifest. In fact, whenever you reach at the point of about to break the glass ceiling, the pangs of hell comes with everything from the bottom of hell to put a stop order on you. Sometimes you don't even know what hit you. I'm talking from personal experience. Sometimes we don't even know what is a, it us. Sometimes it's discouragement. Sometimes it's disappointment. Sometimes it's lack of resources. Sometimes it's dead. Our significant assets have died. Sometimes they're living, but they're still dead. Raka shaka. Sometimes it's broken heart. Sometimes it's the movements of those who were assigned to aid and abet the vision. Glory to God. I'm talking from personal experience. I've been there and done that and suffered that and more. Glory to God. You better hear me well today. Because the enemy doesn't play. You better hear me well. The enemy doesn't ramp. The enemy doesn't play dandy shandy. Oh, right to God. When I was in primary school, hallelujah, they used to play a game called Stuck. Stucky. Stucky. That is very suggestive. <laughs> what do you call it? Stuck and pull. Stuck and pull. My version is you run to touch the person. And if you touch a person, he or she cannot move. And many times, especially lunchtime, as we're about to run to touch a person, the person will say, Cree. Cree. Which means they're saying, don't touch me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. <laughs> you hear me well. You better hear me well. You could have cried cry till like kingdom come. It's like when in a worship. <laughs> I'm leaving alone. Raka shaka. Because I'm in a dangerous mood. Am I B-I-G? Oh, Father. You know, I go already. If, if I start up there. Raka shaka. You see, when we're instrumenting God's house, like worshipers and so on, 
<laughs> whether we live or so, whether we worship or so or not, it's not the issue. The mere fact that to touch the kingdom means that the enemy not play Cree. We have to live word life, fasted life, consecrated life. Play dandy shandy now. Play ring of roses now. Play one foot in and one foot out. <laughs> you know, God has a sense of humor. This my arm. As about, I was doing some editing. I won't tell you what I was doing. Doing some editing. Hallelujah. And this just came up. The, the, the life story. In fact, I thought it was a song. I thought it was, would be a song. But it came up. The life story of Jimmy Swaggart. <laughs> Raka. The uncommon tele-evangelist. Who impacted the world in the 80s and 90s. As anointed and appointed he was. He had human frailties. Like you and I. <laughs> Anytime you come across Carl Christian. And he's acting as if he's creature clean. <laughs> you report him to God. I dress nice. But I'm not nice. Rakaka. I bathed this morning. But the bath soap and the shower gel. Couldn't wash off all the stuff. Of the past. Raka shaka. So any day I come before you, acting, <laughs> screechy clean, <laughs> I'm on my way to a devil's hell. And as instrument in the house, <laughs> we, we, we better line ourselves up. Because the enemy has a way of waiting until we reach a high note of notoriety. He wait until we reach the high note of in place on the front page of the newspaper that thousands and millions are reading. And we say, yeah, it's our talent. I wish you all the best. But the enemy knows that he has a button to press. Yeah. I have learned in life our, anybody where, where, how come I down this road? Raka. This gifts thing what we call gifts. Because sometimes it's now no, no, don't write gift. Rakasa. But this gifting, what we call gift, is sometimes a living entertainment we're doing. Rakashaka. It's including the speaker here. I'm going to stand out with this gifting. This gifting can move mountain, can cross valley. <laughs> Hear me now. <laughs> but in God's sight, the preacher is a clinging symbol. A nice symbol. And yet so. The devil knows. But the devil don't tell the speaker. No, no. He, he, he makes us ride a wave. Of applause. <laughs> Until. He touch the button. Because there's some of us. Like the speaker. Who believe that they have gotten past the past. But the speaker fooling himself. The speaker better go before God every single day and quote Psalm 51. Created me. No, no. We're not rich as I yet. We're not rich as I yet. I better come listen. Me and my BIG. I'm in a dangerous zone. Rakasa. So I leave it alone. Because church people are very insecure. You preach a word and I say, turn word on you. Yeah, turn word on myself. Hallelujah. Because I want to go to heaven. Rakasata, Yata. Hear me well. Rakashaka. The enemy are not idiot. Neither is he a idiot. He knows that some of us have not gotten past our pass, including the speaker. And he waits until we ride the high wave of popularity. Until the names on the front of the page. And never see the whole works. And at the eyes of the eyes. He touched the button of humanity. And this is what happened. It's not just a speaker alone falling on. All are we drop a rock bottom together. All because we did not surrender our life and live a consistent, consecrated life. So all of us in your house, 
And those watching through the nations are heard. This God business is not play play business. Is that a we serving God? Or confessing to serve him? But we, we, we can't be playing in the house of God. Because sooner or later, sooner or later, the enemy, the enemy is going to press the button. Glory to God. When the person, I'm talking about personal experience. So as I was saying now, sometimes some things hit you. Like a ton of bricks. I don't know where it come from. Glory to God. Sometimes you don't even know what it is. Until weeks or months or even years after. And by that time, it's wasted years. Wasted years. Glory to God. But I'm not dwelling there. I come with hope. I come with encouragement. I come to say to you, at the bottom of the bottom, as long as you don't, as long as breath is in your body. And even if there's no breath in your body, as long as the anointing and the grace is in your bones, glory to God. Resurrection power shall be your portion. Give God praise. I don't learn, you know. I don't learn. Rakasata, my days on the earth shall be quite interesting. Hallelujah. Why don't I leave people alone? Hallelujah. Raka. But you know something? I may see someone going to say to God, if I didn't know. If I didn't know. You know, I could come in you know, a specific, but me use wisdom. I go all, I go all around. And I tell it's setting a way where any of us can connect to it. Yeah. But sometimes it demons in us. Hallelujah. Are saying, how oh, dear him. How oh, dear this me. Hallelujah. You have to understand in this kingdom thing. The enemy doesn't play a dandy shandy. Now a ring of roses. Pocket full of poses. His plan is to kill, to rob, and to destroy. And to bury. But thank God that Jesus came to give life and give it more abundantly. Give God praise for that. All right, let's, let's bring down a message. That would ever start. Oh, glory to God. Hello. I, I, I found myself, I cannot, I, I'm not leaving this um, Isaiah 43 um, elaboration, you know. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, verse 19 says, the ERV version. <laughs> Don't think about what has happened a long time ago. Oh, Jesus of mercy. <laughs> the BRG Bible version says, even now, it is coming. Oh, glory to God. Don't you recognize it? <laughs> I say, even now, you know, you're a chaka chaka something. The speaker with the prophetic word is saying, in the midst of the chaka chaka something, there shall be a springing up. Oh, glory to God. Musician, there shall be a what? A springing up. Glory to God. You know, I, I don't give any song to sing. Glory to God, but uh, don't be discouraged. Because in the midst of you waiting a song, there's a springing up. Glory to God. Worshippers, there is a springing up. Glory to God. Did anyone get the impression, you know, that you cannot sing again? <laughs> you anyone to give the impression as if we can't worship again? Did anyone to give the impression as if God won't use us again? You must be joking. In the midst of the chaka chaka, there is a springing up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's a before and there's a after. The message is before and after these things. Oh, Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 and other verses. It said, to everything, there is a season. To everything, there is a season. For everything, there is a season. Worshippers, I've gone through what you've gone through and more. Some people don't know that sometimes one of the hardest things. It's on, a, it's on a morning to come and worship. Sometimes everything broke loose. It broke loose a, a family. It broke loose while traveling. Sometimes you come, somebody just look at you a certain way, and it just, it just challenges your spirit. And you have to dig deep. You have to remind yourself that it's not about you. It's about the spirit of God in you. You have to dig deep in the recesses of your conviction. Sometimes you have, you have to move away from just talent. 
Oh, Father, sometimes even anointing and chip into conviction. Sometimes we start the song. We don't feel like sing it. But as we sing it, we hear the songwriter says, Down in the valley, he restore our soul. Oh, glory to God. There's a restoration of soul in this place. There's a before and there's a after. Rakashata. I come to resurrect. I come to bulldoze. I come to say to you, the future is brighter than the past. God is preparing a new day, a new season. Zoom and Facebook Okata and YouTube. It's a new day. It's a new season. This message is reaching to the nations of the earth. Whatever it is, there's a lifting up. Kian Paisley, there's a lifting up. Oh, Paul Palmer, there's a lifting up. Beverly Brown, there's a lifting up. Courtney, there's a lifting up of your household. Cecilia Pinock, there's a lifting up. Could somebody lift up their hands? I said, there's a springing up. There is movement. There is shifting. The past is the past. 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 I said, the past is the past. The past brought us this far by faith. The past brought us this far by faith. But let's go over to Genesis 26 and let you know that wherever you are in life, there got to be movements. There got to be shifting. Genesis 26. Glory to God. I said the past is the past. Do not despise the past. Do not despise the past. In my case, I was orientated in a denomination system. Oh, they don't have it all correct. But thank God, I went through that. Because, because I went through that, I get to understand that man is never your source. I never understand the kingdom message yet. But because of that foundation, I can stand before you now to say that man should never be your source. Man should never be a filling station. You got to learn early in life in the Christian pathway that the arms of flesh will fail you. Up to the person you sleep beside will fail you. Up to the person you look in the mirror and you brush your teeth and you see a reflection, it means that person will fail you. But God, God in his sovereign will, he never fails. He never fails you yet. Everywhere you go, I want the world to know that Jesus never failed you yet. So uh, the past is the past. But we're going to take from the past the victory. We're going to take from the past the testimonies. We're going to take from the past what we have learned from God and move into the future. So I decree movement time now. I decree springing up time now. Oh, glory to God. Let me tell you something. In Isaiah 26, verse 22 to 25, reading thus. Oh, Isaiah, um, not Isaiah. Genesis 26, verses 22 to 25. Read, 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 read. Verse, glory to God. Verse 22. And he moved away from there and dug another well. And for that one, they did not quarrel. He named it Rehoboth, meaning room, saying... For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. All right, draw bricks. Oh, glory to God. Put a moot marker there. We're talking about, hallelujah, before and after. In this case of Isaac, which some of us can connect to. When you read the storyline from verse 1, there was famine in the land. And Isaac was told by God to sow in the land, like many of us who have sowed in the kingdom. And the Bible says he reaped a hundredfold and he became very rich. Oh, like many of us, we have seen miracles and testimonies. Oh, Jesus. But I got to let you know that in the past, not only the victories that we should celebrate, but we need to understand that even when we are celebrating victories, the enemy's plan is to move us. The enemy's plan is to embarrass us. 
and in the midst of Isaac prospering, in the midst of you in this global purpose-driven church, in the midst of you hearing the word of God, through a pastor and pastor, there, the enemy wants to shift you. The enemy wants to move you. The enemy wants you to stop so. The enemy wants you to stop, praise God. The enemy look at your blessing and look at where you're going and he want to put a stop order on you. So he bring, he bring conflicts. Yes, he bring iniquity workers and those who are envious. Some people envious because of your year style. They don't know how much it costs you, but they grudge you for that. They don't understand that is because he's a daughter of Abraham. You know if you look good and dress good, make no apology to look blessed and highly favored. Who don't like it, bite it. The devil is a liar. The devil has lost again. I'm the first to admit, like what happened to Isaac, it might happen to you. Oh, glory to God. But look how the thing set in Genesis 26. Oh, glory to God. Verse, um, we're reading this. We, in Genesis, uh, and I'm just ad-lib. I have to close up. I, I can't talk too much. Glory to God. In Genesis 26, read verse 15. 15 and 17. Let's read verse 15 and 17 to get the backdrop. Genesis 26. 15 and 17. Glory to God. Read that as the backdrop. Glory to God. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. Now all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham, his father, the Philistines had closed and filled with earth. Verse 17. So Isaac went away from there and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. Oh, glory to God. So of course now, we know that he, he pitched his tent in that environment. He sowed a thousand times, became wealthy and prosperous and look like you. Glory to God, you hear me well. Sometimes the enemy doesn't see you when you're in another church system. Oh, butter, butter in. Rock or Sabbath, as soon as you connect with a purpose driven church like this, all hell break loose. But I come to let you know what you're going through is not coincidental. What you're going through is a setup from the plans of enemy. It's a scheme to get to backslide. It's a scheme for you to give up the vision. It's a scheme for you to go on vacation. But he should have killed you before this message. Because I come to say, if there is a past, there has to be a future. The God who brought you through many dangers, style and sneer is the God that will bring you through the snakes and the scorpions. Rabaka Sata. The snakes and scorpions, whether they are enemies, whether they are iniquity workers, whether they are family members, whether they are co-workers, whether they are out of church or beside church, whether they are your neighbors, whether they are in-laws or out of law, one thing is sure, victory is yours. Victory is yours. I said 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 victory is yours. Can you imagine? Isaac sowed. Hallelujah. If there's a sow, there must be a reaper. Glory to God. <laughs> the man sow. Him get uncommon harvest. Hundredfold. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Those who never saw Rakashakata decide that him shouldn't get him blessing. Oh, Jesus of mercy. Rabba. So the Bible says the Philistines envied him. Oh, glory to God. Uh -huh. I said, What you going through? No, so, so, so. Rakashakata. <laughs> oh, Jamaican parents. What you going through? Hallelujah. It's not average. It's a spiritual ploy to keep you at one place. It's a spiritual ploy for you not to worship God. It's a spiritual ploy for you not to expand. But I hear Jabez says, Rabaka Shata. Oh, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 4, 9 and 10. King James Virgin. I hear Jabez says, Is there any Jabez in your house? You better get ready. 
Okay. First Chronicles. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. I hear Jabez through the Old Testament echoing through the media platform. Echoing in the metro New York era. I hear Jabez oh, with a boodle uh -huh, and with a horn. Oh, Kota, echoing this uncommon request. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Run it one more time. Oh, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. First Chronicles 4, King James Virgin, 9 and 10. Jabez says, if there's a past, there has to be a future. So Jabez said, oh. Verse 9, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Mm -hmm. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. All right, cut it, cut it. Put a foot marker there. The Bible said Jabez was born in sorrow like some of us was born in sorrow and of woe. And his mother was disappointed to birth him. So the mother said, because you caused me pain, because you caused me shame, and disgrace my legacy for you on your birth certificate is to call you Jabez, which means that you're a child of woe, you're a child of problem, you're a child of issue. And for the rest of Jabez's life, every day they call him child of problem, child of sadness, child of sorrow, like some of you. And I, people look on us and say, boy, a problem. Girl, a full of problem. Every time your name call, people shake them at Jesse and say, one more problem again. Or what did she have again? Glory to God. Glory to God. But something, oh, not something. Someone got a hold of you and I this morning. They could call us problem child on our birth certificate. But our cry this morning is from the scripture. Oh, read verse 10. Oh, glory to God. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Oh, glory to God. Keep up the scripture. Keep up the scripture. Jabez says, uh, in the midst of my sorrow, in the midst of my whole in the midst of my past, my story must change. As of today, me not crying in no pity party as of today i digging myself up from the grave that i've been buried in glory to put up the scripture rakashanda gb says as of today oh god say oh god oh man you're playing you're playing you're playing man you're playing. You're satisfied where you are. You must be joking. Come on, open your mouth. Let's celebrate the scripture. Jabez says, put up scripture. Glory to God. Jabez says, oh God, oh God. of Israel, oh, oh that's with us. Bless me. Bless me. Indeed. Indeed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Indeed. Oh God. Oh, God. oh God, oh God, enlarge me, enlarge. my cause, my, my, my family, my businesses, my, business. my, future. my future, my asset, my, asset. my, substance. my substance, my life, my, life. my, spirit. my spirit, my future, my future. enlarge me. Remove my sticks. Stretch my tent. I receive. I receive. When? 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 Say, oh Lord. I'm not satisfied. 
Stand up on your feet and say, oh Lord, oh Lord. I'm, not I'm not satisfied. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. I'm not satisfied. You're playing, man. You're playing, you're playing, you're playing. You're play. It's like you have a plan B. You must be joking. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Come on, open the mouth and say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Come on, musician, say, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. oh, Lord. oh who does bless me? Oh, who bless me? And enlarge me. Enlarge. Move your hand and enlarge me. Enlarge. And stretch me. And favor me. And shift me. Move your foot and shift me. Oh Lord. You say. Wherever I put my foot. It is mine. It is mine. Wherever I put my foot. I'm taking dominion. As of today. I put my foot, I put my foot, I put my foot, I put my foot on the neck, on the neck of the iniquity worker. I put my foot on the scorpions, I put my foot on the snakes. I put my foot on the warlocks. I put my foot on the mother woman. I put my foot on every flag that has been I said acting as portals to bring me down. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord, I put my foot on the neck of every iniquity worker. I put my foot on every covenant activities. I put my foot on every altar that is working against my destiny. Altar, altar, heave altar. You are destroyed. You are destroyed in Jesus' name by fire, by fire, by fire. Say fire, blaze, fire. Blaze, say fire, consume the iniquity worker. Say, oh Lord, put your hands on me and keep me from evil to us. Oh Lord, oh Lord, increase me and my whole soul. And my family in this season and beyond. Oh Lord, victory is mine. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I need thee every hour. Oh Lord, my Lord, my Father, fight for me. Oh Lord, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I am under the shadow of the Almighty. No arm. No evil shall befall me. Oh Lord, I have the victory. Hallelujah. 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 Give him praise.
Glory to God. You can be seated. Let's do one more round and close it off. Oh, glory to God. Let's do one more round and close it off. Before and after the times. Oh, glory to God. Before and after the times. Oh, Father. Let's do one more round and close it off. Oh, glory to God. Before and after the times. Oh, glory to God. You know, let's pick up from that same Genesis 26 and bring this message down. That same Genesis 26. Glory to God. Read verse 18 to 21. Oh, glory to God. As we bring down this message. Before and after these things. Reading thus. Genesis 26. Verses 18 to 21. In the first instant. Reading thus. 18. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which had been dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he gave them the names by which his father had called them. Verse 19. And Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there a well of living spring water. Verse 20. And the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. And he named the well Esek, meaning contention, because they quarreled with him. Verse 21. Then his servants dug another well, and, the, and they quarreled over that also. So he named it Sitna, meaning enmity. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Do verses 22 to 25. Hold on, let's read all of it so we can just lock down. Um, read 22 to 25. Continue. Verse 22. And he moved away from there and dug another well. And for that one, they did not quarrel. He named it Rehoboth, meaning room, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. Verse 23. And now he went up there. Now he went up from there to Beersheba, verse 24. And the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, your father. Fear not, for I am with you, and I will favor you with blessings and multiply your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham, verse 25. And Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there. And there Isaac's servants were digging a well. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. As we're about to bring down this flight, oh, my father, this uncommon storyline is indicating that as soon as Isaac was prospering, like many of you, in the things of God, the enemy decided that it was an issue. The enemy decided it's a problem. Oh, glory to God. I want to say some of the things that you've been going through. But what I will emphasize is that whatever you're going through, the enemy cannot stop you again. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says, Oh, Father, they told Isaac to pick up his dulcimina. Hallelujah. And his suitcase of asset and property. And take away himself from that environment. And to Isaac credit, he pick up himself and move from the environment. And root to move from the environment. The Bible says Isaac decided to undog those wall, those wells that his father would have done, would have dug. And the Bible says the enemy filled up and stopped up those wells. The storyline is suggesting to us that sometimes we want to go. Oh, Father, and piggyback on other person's production. Sometimes we want to find solace and comfort in other person's dreams and visions and goals. But God has a way of allowing the enemies to rise up, to push us beyond our boundaries, to push us beyond our mediocrity. I know somebody was working on the ice of the ice, but as long as the work on the ice of the ice, they would have never become a consultant. It took an uncommon intervention. That person never understood at the time why it was happening. But looking back, 
they recognize now that God have a brighter future. I say to you, some person might be filling up the wells, oh Father, that is your inheritance. And it's not the easiest thing to accept. But the, the enemy's plan is to stop you. But I got news for you. There are wells to be dug. Rakashaka. You will not stop at one well. Glory to God. You will not stop at one business. You will not stop at one ambition. You will not stop at one goal. Oh, the hour they come. Rakasha. It's the hour that the enemies shall fall. Glory. The Bible says, Isaac dug a well. And he called it a sec. Like some of us, we dug well of aspiration. But it's called a sec. A sec means contention. I sense in my spirit uh, that there are some people right now, you're in a contention. Contention over land. Contention over dead life. Uh, contention over <laughs> property. Contention over the car. You spend more time quarreling over the car than how the car carry you. Contention, contention. And nobody don't want to give up. But I got news for you. Where God is bringing you, that car cannot bring you. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. That coming like a whole mattress. Oh, Father. A mattress can bring you so far. And no more. There comes a time when the mattress spring start to choke you. Rakasata. You better change it. Because if you don't change it, that mattress you can that much a spring will snow poison you. I come to say to you, you're going to move from that old mattress and move forward into a quality future. The exec, the contention, we move from that. We're going where you have never been before. You're going to dream again. You're going to live again. So Isaac dig another well. Oh, glory to God. And they called it Signa, which means which means enmity is like every move you make and every step you make to progress yourself in life. Contention come, enmity come. But after this message, they can't stop you again. They can't stop you again. They can't stop you again. They cannot stop you again. Because the next well that you're going to dig, Jehovah Chira, your provider, is going to help you to dig it. He's El Shaddai, the breasted one, the unlimited one. The Bible says Isaac dig a third well, and his name was Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Rehoboth means more room. Could somebody open their hands and say, more room, more room, more room. Rehoboth. Rehoboth. I decree and declare in this season, the past is the past. The p I got to close this message, but I sense in my spirit that we're quarreling over the ex the essay well. Are we quarreling over the signal enmity well? Not realizing that the sovereign God who took us through the past has a bright future. And he said, hold on my child. Just dig another well. Just dig another well. Just dig another well. The next exam you do, you shall pass it. <laughs> yes, man. The next job application, it's a done deal. The next time you go to embassy, I stamp your passport with Canadian visa. So I receive it. I stamp your passport with American visa. But I'm not waiting on you because some of you are too stush. So I'm going to take my anointed hands. And I'm going to stamp your passport for you. I'm going to stamp it one time. Are you satisfied? That was the Canadian. I'm going to stamp it again. You better work with me. 
Are you in the stamping business? Then we're going to stamp it again. This is the UK. Glory to God. Are you satisfied? Oh, Jesus. I hear that there's a country named CI. Oh, so I'm going to stamp the CI. After one, two, three minutes. That is Cayman Islands. Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Well, take all you want. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I want to close. I want to close. But I'm telling the truth. <laughs> if you sit down and stamp your passport, you really don't want trouble. Because how can you travel by not moving? How can you travel by not moving? Stamp, stamp, stamp. <laughs> Musician, get ready. Get ready. Get a good song for me. Choose a good song for me. Musician, get ready. Hello, get a good song for me. Get a good song for me. I'm going to lock this thing down. Are you ready to lock it down? Are you ready to lock it down? Okay. Don't sit on this one. In fact, sit. Sit. Me no problem. Sit. Read the scripture. Read the scripture. Because I sense in my spirit. I sense in my spirit that I need to bring this across as a close off. Genesis 41. Genesis 41. Verse 39 to 46. Read that. And we use that on close off. Genesis 41. Verses 39. To 46. My message is before and after these times. I know it's a deep revelation, but after this one, I think you will get it in your kidney. You'll get it in your gizzard. Read Genesis, King James Version. Genesis 41, verses 39 to 46. Reading thus. Verse 39, King James. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath shown thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Verse 40. And thou be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. Verse 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Verse 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Verse 43. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Verse 44. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in the land of Egypt. Verse 45. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Saphanath Paniah, and he gave him to and he gave him to wife Asne, Asneath, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of honor. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Verse 46. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. Oh, glory Verse to God. Hallelujah. Stop it there. We don't have time to go further. Let's cut this thing down now. Let's lock it down now. We're talking about before and after these things. Look at the storyline now. We hear now 
that Joseph is in his future. Oh, glory to God. Say glory to God. Say glory to God. Remember we're talking about before and after. These times. Before and after. These times. And I know for some of us, it don't look like things can get better. I know for some of us, we don't really fully believe that better days are ahead. But some of us have already gone into their future. Glory to God. Is there anyone in the house who already stepped into their future? Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Let me say it one more time. Worshippers have to work with me now. Otherwise, I'll fire you guys from my sermon. All right. You have a set example. All right. Hallelujah. I say, is anyone in the house <laughs> that already got a glimpse of the future? <laughs> All right now. Is there anyone in the house who already by faith step into the future? <laughs> oh, glory to God. Well, you know our team song. You know our team song. But before we run it, let, let me try it now. So here in this case, Joseph is being talked about I've been in his future. You know, sit, sit because I don't want to weary you. Because I'm going to our team song. And you have to worship. Hallelujah. Get your tithes ready. Get your seat for your sacrifice ready. Doors online. You get ready. Get the cars I'm ready. Those on YouTube, get ready. Oh, glory to God. Those on Facebook, get ready. Those in overflow, get ready. We're locking it down. The Bible says, yes, yes. Joseph is now being set over the nation. He's only second, hallelujah, to Pharaoh. And the Bible says, Pharaoh already give him a ring. Oh, Jesus have mercy. He's in his future. But when we go through the scripture, in the earlier days, it didn't look like Joseph would ever enter into such a future. He was sold like some of us. He was placed in the pit of discouragement like many of us. He was sold as a slave like many of us. Then he went over to Egypt. And in the midst of it, he became a prison bird. Because they accused him to be someone who raped. Oh, glory to God. What a distinction to be called a raper of rapers. Yo, he ended up in prison. And the Bible had the audacity to say in the midst of his mess, in the midst of his prison imprisonment. The Bible said God was with Joseph. And God was with Joseph. <laughs> Who am I talking to? And God was with Joseph. And God was with Joseph. I am saying to as I close off, he look chaka chaka right now. He look like everything is coming against him right now. But celebrate that the King of Kings is with you. The Lord is with you. Genesis 50, 20 says, What the enemy meant for evil, chief. God is going to turn it around for good. Yo. Yo. You know how much ladies want to touch me? I, I will share this with you. You know, in, before I was a caregiver, I used to travel often. And most countries I go to, I lose my handkerchief. I, I can't find my handkerchiefs. You know, so I don't use handkerchiefs much anymore. I lose many handkerchiefs. And I couldn't understand why. I later discovered I was in a certain country. I was returning back to the country. And a lady was giving a testimony before they put me on. She said, the last time I was Dr. Christian at the time. He said, the last time Dr. Christian came, I was one of them who took away his handkerchief. In a certain season, they called me from the morgue. That my son is dead. Raka shaka. Why am I sharing this? Chief.
if you're bringing out something out of me which I wouldn't share in this environment. Because I, I, I need to live long. She said, the last time Dr. Christian was here, I was one of them who took away his handkerchief. Can you imagine people in a church teething without permission? In a certain season, them said, I left the island, you know. When I went back. And so the lady came. She's not at that church. She came and she gave a testimony before they put me on. So the last time Dr. Christian was here, the last time Dr. Christian was here, I was one of them who took away his handkerchief. Yay! They called me from the barg that my son is dead. Rakashaka. My son is dead. Dead, dead, dead. I took up that handkerchief that I took from Dr. Christian. And I went to the morgue. Look at me. Rakasa, your life will never be the same again if you surrender to God. Because there's, there's a certain addiction you have. <laughs> I'm going to read a book. I'm going to read your book. Sometimes your mouth is like your taste bud. All right. And then when you're under pressure, you, you like this. You just have to touch something. <laughs> All right. Let me protect you. <laughs> Rabbi Sata. That is just paragraph one of your, of your book. Okay. I don't need to go further. I'm not Pastor Grace. I'm not Pastor Scott Grace. I'm going to go further. No, we don't have the time for that. Let me give you a testimony. And you go come at the altar and give your life to God. Raka shaka. Um, Dick, um, um, Elder, Elder, Elder Collins, get ready. We have a barcode over here to baptize in the future. It's when God comes straight like this. It's called signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. So the lady says, I took up Dr. Christian and Kachim that I took from him. Rakesha. And I went to the morgue and I told him, I told him, show me where my, my son is. Okay. They brought her into the morgue. They opened the tray. That's what they call it. Yes, sir. Where they put the dead, dead body? Yeah, the little fridge. Little fridge. Rakesha. She said she took the handkerchief that Dr. Christian used. And put it on the dead, dead body. And she opened her mouth. And called up a God of heaven. To resurrect her son. Rakashaka. <laughs> Big man. To tell the truth. I don't know how long she pray. Or whether she just put I don't know. But she said. It's a sign and a wonder. She said the body jump. The body jump. And the sun was a wreck. Out of the mouth. That's what we did with you today. In the spirit one we resurrect you. You have no excuse to serve God. I resurrect you from habits. Resurrect you from that thing, that addiction, we change your taste bud. And we decree shall open your mouth to speak on behalf of God. Give God praise. Even when your situation dead, 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 rakashaka. It take a bird, a word in season to let you know that your future is brighter than your past. Give God praise. Oh, Robo Shaka. Let's stand. Oh, Robo Shaka. We're going to go worship now. We're going to worship two ways. We're going to worship with praise and worship. And we're going to worship with our tithes and offering. And see faith sacrifices. Want to listen to me right now? Before and after these times, <laughs> the past is a past, but your future is greater than the past. <laughs> There's a ring awaiting you, there's promotion awaiting you. 
There's victory awaiting you. There's a brighter future. I mean, whatever Joseph went through, it was a preparation to strategically position him. I declare and declare that God will give Pharaoh a dream which only you can solve. Glory to God. God will give a business person a situation which only you can employ to solve. Smile a while. Give a fierce arrest. And I'm closing up by saying, any dream you have, anything God tell you to do, you got it with tenacity and boldness. God will believe for you. God will empower you. God will bless you. God will lift you up. I decree a lifting up. I decree a springing up. I decree a joy coming in the morning. In the morning. But we cannot wait till the morning. Joy coming. As of when? As of when? As of when? As of when?